We're in the decontamination area. This is mainly used by the propellant transfer guys. Uh, they would come out here uh, on a, a regular basis. They would have to come and pressurize those fuel tanks and oxidize the tanks with nitrogen just to keep the solidity of that missile. So they have a, a emergency shower here, wash out off any fuel they might have spilled on themselves. And then they could come right through here, and there would be te a team stationed here. These are the suits they wore. They're rubber suits, they had these space helmets, and they had an air supply that was tucked inside that suit. The suits are made of rubber. Now, that's not camouflage on those suits. Those are all patches. Like I told you before, you get a drop of this in that suit, you're not walking out of here. You're not going to live. So uh, this was the most dangerous job to have, the propellant transfer people. And this was their area. There's going to be people stationed here. There's going to be people stationed down on level 8 in those, uh, the two pump rooms I showed you. And there's going to be people stationed up topside where the uh, tankers are. Now this over here, it's the long cableway. It's about 250 feet. If you look down that cableway, you'll see those are all shock absorbers. And it's all meant to keep all of these wires and all of these cables up above your head shock isolated. In case of a first strike, if we survived it and the missile did not launch, we could run down here, lower a platform, work on that missile, whatever, however long it took to make sure this thing launched. Once you got the orders to launch, you worked until you got it to launch or you died trying. <laughs>